Now that you have moved out and you're on your own, what do you do now? If you don't know how everything works and are in need of help, this checklist is what you need. Step one, find yourself a home to live in. You can look for private housing on Facebook, Gamernets, and more. You can also look into official student accommodations via your school or via Duo, which is also known as room.nl. Once you rent a home, sometimes it's possible to get rent allowance from the government. In Dutch, it's called huurtoeslag. The amount you get depends on personal factors, such as age, rent, and how much you earn. Log on to www.belastingdienst.nl and apply right away. Unfortunately, the website is only in Dutch, but Yip is there to help you out. Step 2. Go to digid.nl to make yourself a DigiD account. DigiD is an identity management system. Your DigiD account becomes your virtual identity online for the government. Make sure you do this ahead of time so you don't run into any problems. It will take a few days for your DigiD to be activated, so be sure to do this on time. Step 3. Sort out your student financing. You can use your DigiD for this. If you're an international student, you're eligible if you work for at least 56 hours per month. Step 4. Find a job. It may take a little bit longer to find a job if you don't speak Dutch, but there are still opportunities out there. If you're a non-EU or an EER student, it may be even more difficult. You can come into our YIP office with any questions you may have. Step 5. Get yourself an OV chip card. You can do this at an OV machine or at a service center, or even get a personalized card online. If you are interested in more information about discounts and other transport methods, check out our other video on transport in the Netherlands. Step 6. If you are a non-EU or EER student, it's required to get a Dutch health insurance. Make sure you find one that suits you. It can cost anywhere from 100 to 140 euros per month. EU students only need Dutch health insurance once they are working in the Netherlands. Don't forget to apply for one, otherwise you risk having to pay back all the months you weren't insured. If you want to receive money from the government, like student finance or allowances, you need to have a Dutch bank account. Besides that, it's way easier to buy stuff with a Dutch debit card. A lot of stores don't take other cards or credit cards. There are a lot of different banks you can go to. Make sure to find one that suits you best. Last but not least, if you are struggling with any of these steps, there are always people that can help you. Ask your friends and classmates if they know what to do. Most universities also have people that can help. You can always come to a YIP office with or without an appointment to receive free help from our youth advisors.